Navi. They've got the utility and they are sending it out of the balcony. They go. James with the discipline, going to play off of his teammates. Allowed him to walk into a crossfire if he can. And the first one goes the way of fame. James holding angles now, finally oh. drops us. We're looking for the impact frags here. I love the trigger discipline from James. Now the bomb is committed in that short position. And the first kill coming on the smoke grenade as well. And you can see James. Still rotating back and forth as necessary. Nothing doing towards the A bomb site. Meanwhile, on B, that's a lovely flashbang from Kicker. He's got so much to do here. James on the way. You can see he has to stay alive. If he goes down as well, then they really do have some significant problems if those weapons are collected. Blitz has got the MP9 in his hand. James will be the high health player. Kicker's got the kit and 7 HP. Then that's going to be quite scary indeed. Chiron has dealt with the flanking position. Presence has been shown, and this gets more difficult now for IHC, but dangerous still for outsiders as these Glocks try to get more work done. There's an Eagle and the MP9, Annihilation with the Deagle. We've seen this before, I feel like. Kick up with 7 HP, down he goes. Blitz now trying to hide. Oh, oh James still, still being swing. patient. Yeah, his shadow is showing if he pushes forward. Great entry from Blitz. IHC are not sloppy at all, are they? Great detail, great, great map control, no assumptions made, and look how they deal with... It looks like that might be the case. They're in a 4v2 scenario on this bomb site. Fame in the pits in trouble again, but they're winning their duels. Chiron trying to stay alive. Fame certainly will, and he needs to, to buy time for that rotation. Jame coming in with the Famas towards that long area as an Annihilation goes for a safe bomb plant. Score on the site as well, so the tables turn as far as A is concerned. Now it's 4v2 in favor of outside. There's Annihilation on the AWP, but importantly, Fame is still alive in the pit, and that's going to make it really hard to win this round for IHC. They just can't get rid of him. They've mollied it three times now, and he's still alive in the pit. Just biding time, an annihilation run. Jame changing his position up once again. Have a look at this from Fame, though, in Boiler. Ooh. Chiron good enough for two. Bomb spotted as well. IHC with a completely different pace, but surely Fame, rather than being in the pit in Boiler, it's going to change everything. Jame showing presence now with the AWP, and there's the free one that Fame was looking for. Bomb getting planted potentially, but Squall finds himself alone. So they've really tried to take... Painful. It's gonna be busy in a second. Oh, that third one though. That was quite a flick from him. Four with the MP9 and one magazine is no easy task. Oh, bar temperature. If he tries to swing on Flit here, he's gonna be in so much trouble. Jane with a great one through the smoke. Punishing those Tech Nines. So much pre-fire. Every third shot with a Tracer, of course. And when you're so close to a smoke, that can be enough to land the shot. Re-aggression as well from Flit. Looking for the transfer. Well then, Blitz and, I let, and, and Annihilation remain. Now it's just Blitz. Library, no one heading towards it just yet. Flit's got some good angles. But there is an important trade from Scott. Now Fame has that top jump to do. Look how they did this. Just airstriking his position, but he's dodged so much of it, but there's still more coming through, and he's still standing. I'd run out of... I don't, I don't even have numbers for how many grenades just went in that position, but the Deagle will do the job finally. But now everybody... The smoke comes up, the flashes are here as well, and they start to commit to this, but... Oh, they have shown the bomb with Kicker, and here come those frags on the CT side. Now, Fame has the position to cut off this rotation, and Jame can do the same, but does this... This does leave them low on personnel now, as it's a four versus two with the bomb rotating, yes, to an A bomb site, but they'll have to land these headshots as well. Look at the pack mentality from IHC running in together. Fame only has the block. He gets one kicker, comes in from the other side. Oh, it's an ab. The Tech 9 is very powerful indeed. Well, Flit's gonna try and make his way. He ran into a brick wall though, figuratively and literally. Kicker's in trouble as well. Start as you mean to proceed, say IHC on their first buy round. A solid five versus three, barely taking any damage. There's Chiron's turn to raise the urgency, but he'll lose his duel to Techno as well. So we have a Galil and a Tech 9 remaining. There are some flashes. Techno's here by double stack, and he knows there are players around the corner, but they are being. Oh, he's heard the tagging. Still alive though, down goes Flit, and surely it's the go, come on, they have to be fast on A, but Annihilation catches two of them, and that's plenty of information. 30 seconds on the clock, two outsiders players remain. There's Jane jumping to his doom. Techno can buy time now as Fame tries to find an angle, but the rotation's coming in from long, the flashes as well. He's fast enough, and they're going in for the dry entries as well, catching him with the grades in the hand. Techno is blind, and he's blind again, the chain flashes. It might be a team flash even. 
Down goes Score as well. This could be the end of the line now. Indeed, it will be. The urgency will be punishing, leaving Blitz in a one versus five. Outsiders just around the corner from this game being... The numbers have made their way down long. And indeed, there will be problems. Annihilation, though, we know he's good for a headshot. Looking for a second one. Flashes are here as well from Techno, and they will drop like flies on this A bomb site. Still looking for an opening frag. Bartak saying hello with the jewelies. You can see the bomb is fully committed to the bomb site. A lot of time. You can see, look at that bait again. Whenever it's jammed, there's someone just air strafing to try and cause him to view. Sometimes, though, you've got to do things the hard way. And this will be one of those occasions. Those Glocks concentrating. They could get another kill here, but Blitz is ready for the challenge, it seems. Oh, bring in connector. That bomb in the hands of Jane, though. Surely a third man starts to make his way towards a Chiron trying to find the entries now, but Score will clean up the A bomb site as well. IHC well prepared, had the bait and switch set up, and now Jame is running for dear life. Oh, they don't even want to let him save here. Artak heard him run away. They've got him trapped in the playground. Look at the minimap, everyone, all the forces coming into the party. Jay might die after time. He hasn't seen the... ...of the AWP looking for some targets. And there's the first one, Flip. Carrying the bomb as well. Score presses forward rather than back. I love this. Complete lack of respect there. Just getting kills left, right and centre. Chiron dancing around the pillar. He knows he's there. Great to see this kind of confidence against a very difficult team. Very promising. Yeah, that's one of the things we gave IHC so much credit for at Katowice. Playing with confidence throughout. And also... This might be a case study. This might be analytical data on how IHC like to play a final map because they've just really threaded the needle in this last round. This is unbelievable. Yeah, it is quite literally a walk in the park right now for outsiders up through a long. Oh, I mean, Fame's just coming back to clear the bathrooms. He's behind everyone and he executes two of them. They didn't even have a clue he was coming. And surely this is about to be nine rounds at the half for outsiders. Flip still in connector, keeping score locked in. They have to go for it, but they don't have much of a chance here. It is going to be nine, all but confirmed. What a recovery from outsiders coming through on the T side. Oh, and now Fame spots them, puts the smoke down. He'll try and just survive for as long as possible here. Such good defensive smoke for a, T for a CT side. Cuts the site in half, gives you more space to play with. He will be traded eventually by Score. James smoked off again, almost taking the bomb carrier, but the full spray will catch Blitz and make things a little easier. Score dies for the cause, leaving Annihilation in the one versus four for Desert Eagle, looking to do his best. Chiron! Annihilation now, 1v2, creeping through the smoke. Very awkward angles being offered by outsiders. Surely the trades will be here. Chiron playing up his teammate, just cleaning up or trying to. The trades will continue though. Blitz with two HP and a dream. Kicker just charging. And this one's just slipped away from them. Triple nades, not successful. Flip again with the opener. Kicker has been handled. That means Annihilation can start to run onto the bomb site, but Chiron has to be dropped and he will be. Problem is the rotates hit. Yeah. Outsiders. Oh, that's all off guard. I see trying to do the same two outsiders, but that's a hard task. Openers. This time it's Kicker on Monster. And yeah, it's Flit again behind him, who gets yet another kill on this B bomb site. Oh, they try and boost and they get naded for it. And now Flit's watching. He's played this perfectly. Honestly, watch back this demo. He's been so good on this B site. Hard team to beat on overpass outsiders. And this is more evidence of it. It was a good run for IHC. The first map especially was very engaging, but this second half has been lights out for outsiders. So, so strong. Annihilation with the Desert Eagle. Score with the Galil. Versus 500 HP outsiders.
with four AKs and an AWP. This is what pressure looks like. But Annihilation, well, never mind, he's dead. And so is Score, and so are the hopes and dreams of IHC in their opening series here at ESL Pro League. Indeed, it will be a confident victory for Outsiders once we get to the tail end of Overpass. A strong showing. For